Hey y'all, I just got home from school. It's currently 4 p.m. and I actually get out of school at 3.30 and then I'm usually home by like 3.40, 3.45-ish. The parking lot after school is always a nightmare and today I actually got super stuck in the parking lot and then I had to go to my mom's to pick something up that she got for me today. But I'm home from school and today we're doing my after school slash night routine school version. This is more just like an after school routine because it is Friday so it isn't like my typical school night routine. If you guys want to see like my actual school night routine and like me getting ready for school the next day and like what time I go to bed on a school night, let me know in the comments. But for right now, it is Friday. I'm done with my first week of school. Like I said, I did just get home from school. So I'm going to show you what I do directly after I get home. This will usually happen every single day at 4 p.m. and it really never changes unless I have like errands to run or I have plans directly after school. Tonight I actually have a football game to go to so I'll be with all my friends and vlog some of that but the first thing that I always want to do when I get home from school is take a shower and just wash my face and take my makeup off because I don't know what it is about being at school. I can take a shower in the morning and still feel so musty after school not because like I'm actually musty but because just being at school around that many bodies is just disgusting to me i'm in my bathroom and oh my god this is why i hate wearing my glasses because i wore these all day and now i took them off and i feel blind the world just becomes a whole different place when i take these off after wearing them all day i'm gonna take a shower just a quick body shower just wash my body and like i said cleanse myself of all the disgusting people that i encountered today ow oh Oh, I stubbed my toe. Oh, I stubbed my toe really bad. <sighs> that hurt. All right, I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> I always moisturize immediately after I step out of the shower. After my body is all moisturized, I always, always, always change into a pair of comfy clothes. Even though there is a football game and I have to get ready for it relatively soon, I will still not pass up the opportunity to just get into a comfy outfit for at least like 20 minutes. I'm gonna take off what's left of my makeup and kind of just like wash my face and do some skincare because I don't know what it is about being at school, but I feel like my makeup lasts half as long as it normally would. So even though I'm literally gonna have to redo my makeup for the football game, I still want to take it off. Today's video is actually sponsored sponsored by Clearasil, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. Clearasil makes skincare products with medicated benefits for fast and effective acne solutions. I feel like the first face wash and moisturizer I ever bought was from Clearasil, and now I use a bunch of their different products. The product that I'm going to wash my face with today is actually this one. This is the Rapid Rescue Deep Treatment Wash with Maximum Strength Salicylic Acid Acne Medication. This face wash is really good for helping prevent breakouts, and also just like when I wash wash my face with this it feels like it's genuinely very very clean and then there is this face wash which is the stubborn acne control 5-in-1 exfoliating wash again with salicylic acid the exfoliation aspect of this helps fight blocked pores it reduces pimple size gets rid of excess oil it can even help get rid of acne marks and blackheads I love this I definitely don't exfoliate my face every day but when I do I love this one I am sure you've seen these little pads somewhere in your life I used to use these all the time and then I recently started using them again and I don't know why I ever stopped. There's Rapid Rescue Deep Treatment Pads and then also Stubborn Acne Control 5-in-1 Daily Pads. These Stubborn Acne Control Pads actually help fight five signs of acne. With the Rapid Rescue ones, you can actually see visible results within four hours, which is insane. If I'm ever starting to see like a breakout happening, I immediately do the whole works, like wash my face, use these or one of these, and it helps my breakout from getting worse. And of course, the star of the show, if you've been watching me for a while you know that I love pimple patches with my entire 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 heart if you're living under a rock and don't know what pimple patches are basically you pop one on to a pimple that you may be experiencing and it helps bacteria from getting to the pimple and making the breakout worse it also absorbs like what's inside of the pimple like it literally sucks it out when you take it off you see like a little white dot I'm sure I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about the great thing about these is you're not actually popping the pimple which leads to scarring and more inflammation
I'm in my room now and I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my skincare. Well, not even. I'm just gonna moisturize my face. But if you're interested in Clear Cell or any of their products, everything will be linked in the description box below. Um, it's super affordable skincare, but it actually works and it has been a staple in my life for a really long time. Pretty much since I started my whole skincare journey back in like seventh grade. So if you haven't tried them, I definitely recommend it. After I have showered and cleaned myself and everything like that, I actually like to clean my room. If you have been watching me for at least like a year now, you would see the crazy character development that I've had. I used to let my room get so messy, but now I make it a habit to try and clean it every single day so that I never have a big mess to deal with. My room really isn't messy. There's just like a few things lying around. Whenever I get home from school, something I try to do right away is edit. Editing is just a never-ending thing that I deal with. There will never be a time when I don't have something to edit. I constantly have videos filmed that need to be edited, and that's just how this, how this job works. And I have a video that I need to get done by the end of the weekend, and it's nowhere, it's nowhere near done, so, um, but I really don't have time to edit. And what really sucks is I just foresee this video going downhill from here, because the second that I get in a room with other other people I become the world's worst youtuber um I simply just forget to vlog but I'm gonna try my best and I am gonna get footage before the football game and at the football game and after football game so I'm gonna do my makeup and then we'll pick out an outfit together the football theme for tonight is why did I forget? Oh, USA themed. Yeah, so some of my friends are literally already ready. Makeup done, little sparkles on their cheeks done, like I'm behind. I'm gonna do my makeup fast, okay? I say this all the time and then I end up not doing my makeup fast, so just pray for me. I also need to eat. I hate Fridays. I love football season. It's when you make like the best school related memories of the entire year in my opinion, but also just getting home from school and then rushing to get ready and then being with all your friends, it's so draining, but it's also so fun, so. Alrighty, my makeup is finished. It is 517, so that really wasn't that fast. Let's pick out an outfit. I have this cowboy hat that I'm gonna wear, but besides this, I'm not entirely sure. My mom went to Party City for me and picked me up this tutu because I literally didn't have anything else to wear. Um, so I'm gonna look slightly insane. I have these red Lulu Align leggings and I also have this in like a royal blue color. I don't know where they are. I was gonna wear those ones, but it looks like I'm just gonna have to wear the red ones. Okay, I'm gonna wear this little red tank top with it, and then I found these shoes, which are patriotic. I don't know if it would be cuter with biker shorts, because I think I have red biker shorts, but I feel like I'm gonna get cold. I look like a fucking dumbass. I literally look like a dumbass. <laughs> Happy Labor Day. Ugh, Fridays are so chaotic, like football Fridays. I just want to take a breath and just like sit down and relax for a second, but that's not an option. I didn't eat at my house because we're all going to Ryan's house. Y'all know Ryan. I'm going to my best friend Ryan's house right now, and all of us girls are meeting there so that we can all carpool to the game together. But Ryan ordered like pizzas and like put out snacks and stuff. So that really helped me on my time management. Now it is 5.30 and I'm heading there. The game isn't till seven, but I don't know. I don't know. The lighting? Terrible. But I made it to Ryan's house. Oh my goodness. I'm about to drop all of this. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. It's my mom. It's my mom on the camera. I thought that was the pizza guy. Guys, quick mom. Okay, 
Okay guys, I just made it back from Ryan's house. My friend Meredith drove me to the game and then when we got back, I ate a few more slices of pizza and I grabbed all my stuff that was at Ryan's and then I got in my car, I drove here. I changed and now I'm going to my friend Lily Kate's just to hang out for a couple hours. I'm honestly exhausted and I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna be out because I do just wanna go to bed, but... It's senior year. I'm trying to be social again because I don't know if I've talked about this on here. In the beginning of high school, I was so social. Like all I wanted to do was find people to hang out with, find parties to go to, just find something to do. And then the last like year and a half, kind of after COVID, basically right after COVID, I got the urge to never go to anything ever again. And I would have to like force myself to go to a party or like force myself to go just hang out with my friends because I became so antisocial. So now that it's senior year, I'm really trying to push myself to go do things even when I don't want to. I know I barely got any footage at the game. You guys literally probably hate me. I'm the worst YouTuber in the whole entire world. We ended up winning 28 or something, 24, 28 to zero. I'm not really sure. My friends are here to pick me up, so I'm gonna go, but I will vlog when I get back, hopefully. Otherwise, I'll just vlog tomorrow a little bit. I know this was kind of just like a mess. Okay, I just got back um, from my friend's house. Um, I don't want you to think that I just like got bullied at my friend's house or like this is because of my friends. You know when your social battery runs out and then the rest of your night is just terrible? Basically, I just kind of got like extremely drained and I just needed to go home. Me and my friend, my friend that drove me there and like drove me home, we just like had a super deep talk in my driveway and it just got me like thinking and thinking and thinking and then I started spiraling and spiraling and spiraling. Let me preface this by saying I get my period in two days. This is not a um, uncommon occurrence. If you go in my memories on my Snapchat, I only cry at one period of every single month. I mean, sometimes I'll cry at like movies or like other stuff like in the middle of the month, but at the end of the month, every month, is when I cry. I have specific days that I'm emotional on every single month and it's just how it is. I just started spiraling. Like I literally don't even know what I'm crying about at this point. I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna catch up with you tomorrow. I'm just gonna do the normal, take my makeup off, use all my Clearasil skincare. I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to change into a huge t-shirt and I'm going to go to sleep. Um, hi guys. You might be wondering, Bailey, why does it sound like you were just crying again? Um, that is because, well, I probably was. No, um, so I filmed this video Friday night. I literally, I've barely spoken any words in the last three days. I filmed this video on Friday night and then I woke up on Saturday and I felt like doo-doo. I felt like some sort of sickness was coming on and then it just progressively started to get worse throughout Saturday and into Saturday night. And then Sunday I was like extremely sick and today's Monday and I'm still pretty sick. It's Labor Day so I didn't have school. It's not COVID. I took two different COVID tests and they both came back negative but it's definitely some sort of like flu type of thing. I had like a fever, the chills, full body ache, sore throat, headache, all of it. Like all of of it. I'm sorry about the way that this video ended. I I honestly had a terrible weekend. I will definitely make up for it and film like a better school night routine sometime very soon if you guys want that. I love you guys though. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I know that sometimes my videos are a chaotic mess and some of you love that. Some of you probably are annoyed with me but someday maybe my videos won't be this chaotic but they probably always will be because that's just who I am. Again if you guys are interested in Clearasil skincare you guys can can check the links in the description box. Um, I really hope that I start feeling better soon because this has like been going on three days and I still feel like a foot. Only I would get sick literally the first week of school. Like if you guys know my immune system, it is literally equivalent to the immune system of a caterpillar. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.